Hello, in this video we're going to do some sample test questions based on the concept of comparative advantage. Which economists developed the idea of comparative advantage? The correct answer here is C. David Ricardo. Bob's opportunity cost of producing one rug is 10 shirts. Greg's opportunity cost of producing one rug is 5 shirts. The correct answer here is Greg has a comparative advantage in rugs. When Greg produces one rug, he gives up five shirts, which is a lower opportunity cost than Bob. When Bob produces a rug, he sacrifices ten shirts. So the correct answer here is Greg has a comparative advantage in rugs. You can't have a comparative advantage in both goods, so C is wrong. And D is wrong for the same reason. You can't have a comparative advantage in both goods. That's not possible. So our possible answer choices are A and B. The correct answer here is going to be B. If the U.S. has a comparative advantage in commercial aircraft, the U.S. produces aircraft at a lower opportunity cost than other producers. That is correct. The rest of these answers are wrong. Answer choice B and C deals with absolute advantage. We're dealing with comparative advantage in this question. Which of the following statements are true? A country can have an absolute advantage in the production of all goods. That is true. A country can have a comparative advantage in the production of all goods. That is false. And question C here is also false. So the correct answer here is just going to be A. In one hour, Tom can make either one cake or four pizzas, while Sue can make either two cakes or two pizzas. So this is about calculating opportunity cost, and the way we're going to do that is opportunity cost of a good, such as good Z, equals the quantity of the other good that is sacrificed to produce it, divided by the quantity of good Z produced. So let's calculate opportunity cost here for Tom. The opportunity cost of cake, so how many pizzas does Tom have to sacrifice here? He's sacrificing four pizzas. What does he get? He gets one cake. So the opportunity cost of cake for Tom is going to be four pizzas. And then likewise, opportunity cost of pizza for Tom is what does he sacrifice to make pizza? He sacrifices cake. He'll sacrifice one cake and get four pizzas. So the opportunity cost of pizza is one-fourth of a cake. Notice these two answers are just a reciprocal of one another, and that will always be the case. Doing a similar thing here now for Sue. The opportunity cost of cake for Sue is the quantity of the other good that is sacrificed, in this case pizza. So she sacrifices two pizzas to produce two cakes. So the opportunity cost of one cake is just one pizza. And then the opportunity cost of pizza is the number of cakes that she sacrifices. Two cakes divided by two pizzas, we get one cake. And again, these numbers are just a reciprocal of one another. So to looking at these answer choices, Tom's opportunity cost of producing one cake is four pizzas. That's true. We found that right here. Tom's opportunity cost of producing one pizza is one-fourth of a cake. That is also true. We found that answer choice here. Sue's opportunity cost of producing one cake is one pizza. That's true. And Sue's opportunity cost of producing one pizza is one cake. So all these answers are correct. All answers are correct. Uh, same question, but this time we're asking about who has a comparative advantage. So recalling our work that we did from the last question. So the comparative advantage uh, in pizza is going to be the person that can produce pizza at the lowest opportunity cost. So every time Tom produces a pizza, he gives up one-fourth of a cake, but Sue gives up a little bit more when she produces a pizza. Sue gives up one cake when she produces a pizza. One-fourth is less than one. And as for cake, it looks like Sue has a, has a comparative advantage in cake production. She only sacrifices two pizzas to make a cake, while Tom sacrifices four. So looking at our answer choices here, Tom's comparative advantage is in pizza. That's true. One-fourth is less than one. And Sue's comparative advantage is in cake. That's true. Two pizzas is less than four pizzas. Uh, so the rest of the answer choices are going to be incorrect. So answer choice A. 
Canada has a comparative advantage in timber, and the U.S. has a comparative advantage in wine. So looking at our answer choices, uh, the correct answer choice here is going to be A. You should export the thing that you have a comparative advantage in. So the U.S. has a comparative advantage in wine, so it should sell wine to Canada, export wine to Canada, and then import Canadian timber. So Canada has a comparative advantage in timber, and that's what the U.S. should import, Canadian timber. The rest of these answer choices are incorrect. A country should specialize in its comparative advantage and trade with countries that have a blank a comparative advantage in another good. So the correct answer choice here is going to be A as well.